I am Nicola, uh, part of the uh, of four years old um, non-profit organization in France, which is Democracy Go Work here. Um, we we built this this organization because in uh, in 2012, France, my country, have denied. Uh, to come into the, the, the PGO, the OGP, the uh, Organization um, um, of uh, the Open Government, Open Government Partnership. And we don't, we don't know why today, but we think the values of the Open Government Partnership are right. So uh, we de decided to, um, to found uh, an organization to influence the politics in France and to make the good decision to, uh, to come to the, this new kind of open governance. Mm. Uh, a democracy in, front, in French means uh, open democracy, uh, you, may, you may have uh, imagined. Uh, why we didn't translate uh, open government by uh, open government in France, but democracy, because we think that openness is more than just government. This is democracy in a whole. So, at the very beginning of uh, our idea, and I think this is something that has been said in the previous panel um, about, you know, the Amser wheel. Uh, shall we make a tool to solve problems? But if we, if we don't have the power to go to the politics to say, okay, use this tool, prove to the to the, to, to the, the citizens that you want to move uh, the, the society. Um, then it, it won't work. So we decided to, uh, to, to create a tool for participation of citizens according to the values of the OGP. But from the very beginning of the experience, we are uh, joining uh, an organization to make mm -hmm. some kind of citizen lobby to, to the politics. And this is the conditions for our tool to work. Um, yeah, so, this is the title, uh, you have probably already read it. Ambitious challenge, because this is ambitious, but uh, we think that uh, four years ago we, we were pretty sure that we have the, strong to, the strength to, to do something, and, and today uh, I tell you. So, um, eight years ago. We, we have seen that something was badly happening in France. Why is that? In France, we have two main problems with the law. The first problem with the law is the lack of transparency in the process. Uh, things have been said, so I, I won't uh, go further, but I, let me tell you uh, two big examples in France. Uh, we have two problems with transparency. The, the first problem that you all know in your own country is the, the, the law, the text of the law is just not affordable for everyone. You can't understand all these you know, lawyer things. You, you can't read the law, actually. And in France, it's the same thing than in your country. Um, so we want to address this problem. And the second problem with transparency, obviously, and that has been said, we have a problem with lobbies in France. In France, yeah, in your country too. But in France, we have a, a huge problem. We, we at Democracy Web, we don't have problem with lobbies, in fact, because lobbies are part of the process. They bring uh, experience, they bring uh, insights about uh, the problem that uh, the congressmen want to address. And this is not only economical interests, lobby can be also administration or can be also unions so we don't we don't want to to give up the lobby in the process we want to work with them but we have a problem of transparency because first of all we don't know which lobby is met with the congressman and when and for what subject we don't know anything this is completely non-transparent and the second point is as, as, as that, that, that has been said also, uh, the citizens today are not represented in our representative democracy. This is a huge problem because we don't have the counter power 
uh, with the lobby to address uh, the problem uh, with our congressmen. I say uh, without any irony that the democratic, the, the representative democracy uh, do, do not work because, well, it works on paper. But the truth is, as you know, that on 100 people voting, well, the last f uh, election in France to elect our uh, uh, congressman, we had an average abstention rate of 44%. People are, are, are fed up with that. So they don't vote. So, um, okay, we live with uh, uh, 56 persons. 56 persons. So the, the congressman to be elected just have to convince 29 persons to be elected. Uh, this is a problem because 29 versus 100, you understand that you are not representative uh, in a representative uh, system. And this is this, this leads to a confidence crisis and, uh, because people are not interested anymore by uh, media conflict. We have talked about medias. Uh, medias are interested in, in dead people and in catastrophes and, and, and things that doesn't work. But uh, each time something is working, oh no, in five minutes, uh, each time something is working, uh, we, we don't talk about this in media. So we considered plans at the time, or we can give up, we decided to not give up, we can rise up, we decided to not rise up, uh, we decided maybe a little bit to imagine new rules, but that involves in the public uh, concern in France that we, we, we give up the system, we, we, uh, we, um, we remove the system and replace it by a new one, that is not our view. And in fact, we want to influence the politicians because we think the system is here and we, have, we need to hack it, hack it in the meaning of inf influence and improve it. So during uh, 28 and 2012, we have built a tool um, with, you know, this is, this is something very important for us in France and probably all over the world, our declaration of rights after the revolution. Or uh, no one knows that this is written that all the citizens have right to contribute personally and not only by representative. This is quite a motivation mm -hmm. for us. Uh, so we built a methodology. I try to, to be quick, sorry. Uh, the methodology, okay, uh, we have worked hard for four years for, to, for that. It, it, it should, well, maybe it's quite, uh, it's quite clear for you, but it, it has been a, a process to imagine. First of all, we, we provide the platform not to the citizens, but to the congressmen. That's the point that is very different to the other initiative in, in France. Uh, we, we go to the, the congressmen and we ask them to use the platform and put the, the, the bill, the, the law they want to imagine with the population. After that, we invite people to come to the platform and we crowdsource their recommendation and assessments uh, about the subject of the bill. After that, and this is a long process of several uh, weeks, after that, our team uh, map all the arguments on, on the platform, uh, hundreds and thousands of arguments, and we map a synthesis to uh, the, the team working on the project. After that, we organize uh, on the internet with the Google Hangouts, we organize um, a contradictory debate with the synthesis of the crowdsourcing, uh, with obviously the congressmen and uh, some of the people that we pick up from the, from the, the crowdsourcing. And obviously, uh, the debate can be shown, uh, can be watched on, on, the, on the internet, so the people can react uh, through the social networks. And after that, we have a very important phase, and this is the very important phase where the deputy, the, um, sorry, the congressman explain why he choose or reject uh, some of the arguments. This is very important because people, I, I mm -hmm. think this is my opinion, but I, I, I think maybe you will agree, I think that people accept their opinion uh, will be rejected if they have been heard and if they know why. We want explanation. 
we want to, to know why is that that my opinion doesn't count uh, and not being just, you know, I don't want your opinion. And uh, after that, and this is the, the last uh, point of the, the methodology, uh, the congressman goes to, to his office, uh, goes to the work, to the parliament, and explain everything. Uh, he does the job as usual, except that before he just worked with collaborators and lobbies, and now he works with citizens too. So in uh, 2013, uh, we launched the, the product in the French Congress with a, well, it was a little bit tense because uh, we, are, um, we are neutral by nature. We want to hear everyone. We want to give the empowerment to, to, to the common people. And so we have invited, for the first experiment, we have invited uh, six congressmen of all sensibilities, ideological sensibilities, from the far left, the far right, and the middle. So uh, a lot of people in France uh, w was very upset because we have invited the, the far right party um, because they think that it's not democratic, you know, or, or republican. Uh, but we don't care because this party, I'm sorry, three minutes, okay. Because this party today uh, agree or not with the, the theories they have or the program they have, it's 30% of the population in France, one third. And we, we don't want to take the risk to, um, to uh, not t taking account of the, the one third of the population. Uh, when we launched the, the platform, we had, uh, as you can see, a very different uh, feedback. Um, um, but still, uh, since we launched, uh, we have um, a lot of uh, positive um, uh, actions. Uh, for, first of all, we have uh, been asked by, um, a by the private sector to have a similar consultation platform for their uh, res uh, human resource um, needs to um, you know, think about the, governments, the, the governance of the company within. And after that, finally, because the organization has worked hard on the government and uh, the ministers to, uh, to explain our mission, uh, finally, the government has asked uh, several platforms uh, to run and to test, uh, to evaluate uh, how a public consultation can work in France. Uh, the, the biggest thing was uh, this one uh, last year when uh, the Prime Minister of France uh, mm -hmm. has launched a, a huge uh, uh, project of having in France uh, a very strong law about of digital things, you know. Um, and uh, we had this consultation previous the debates on the Congress. And uh, you can see the, the, the figures, so I won't tell them. Uh, numerous uh, votes and participants and proposals. And in, in the law, we have four brand new articles written just before, be, because of the participation of the, um, of the citizens. And overall, uh, uh, four years after our, uh, the start of the, the experiment, uh, I think we transform the concept into a uh, proof of concept because uh, today we have 40, uh, we have 24 members of the parliament who has uh, used or will use the, the platform or are working on uh, the project and we have uh, the numbers you have, you have here. Why, why should I pretend, why can I pretend that this is a success or a proof of concept uh, because of that? Um, we have this senator there, a uh, cool one, uh, who, who, wants to, who proposed a law, a bill, to uh, forbid the non-agricultural use of pesticide in France, uh, whatever the subject, he, pro he proposed a bill, and it has been discussed on the platform. Um, overall, more than 8,000 uh, citizens was, were involved in the, in the consultation, and on, on the 47 uh, submission by the citizen. I can't, uh, here it's not only uh, 47 people, uh, but it's 47 arguments that has been um, uh, kept by uh, the, the, the congressman. 45 after the debate on the Congress, 45 have been uh, kept in the final mm -hmm. law. So today in France, we have 
a law in the constitution, have a law in the, in the, te in the, in the codes that is completely co-written by uh, citizens in, uh, in the spirit of crowdsourcing. And I had, for all the discussions we had before um, about Facebook and all these things, we had a moderation rate very, very low on the platform. People coming on the platform to discuss to, to serious subjects and, and being considered, being taken serious, uh, are not here for trolling or things. They are here for working. I'm, I, I'm really speeding up, as you can see. <laughs> <coughs> we are uh, happy to hear that. Yeah, I'm sorry. But you know, you have raised so many questions before. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this year, yeah, this year, uh, this, is, this is really speeding up at, at the point that, uh, as you may have understood, Parliamented Citizens at the very beginning is a, a, a platform that has been built by uh, common people like me or others uh, with a job uh, and uh, we, it's just on our free time, but we have so many success with it and we, uh, truly uh, a lot, a lot of business is coming in. So we decided to make a startup company to just make a living for the, the, the couple of us and um, we have all these customers coming in. So for your information, um, this is, for example, is, here you have uh, Rennes or Meuse or, or Grenoble are big cities that want to think over their own governance with the citizens. And we have some ministries here and region and we have the French lawyers organization and the disabled people in France organization. They all want to think of uh, the, the governance in their organization. And today, more than 250,000 people are involved in the whole process. Um, just for, for, for explaining some technical things, but it, this is 15 seconds. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have imagined a model uh, that allows the, the platform parliament and citizen to be improved at all time uh, because each time, and this is our business model uh, for the new company which is Cap Collective, each time one of the customer wants a specific feature uh, for him, for it, uh, for the parliament, for his platform, um, he paid for it, so this is how I, I eat, but uh, the development we are um, doing is, is a benefit for all the platform and all the customers. So as a customer, you know that you pay for a feature, but all the feature paid by all the customers are for you too. And that's how we, uh, now we have set up a participatory budget in the project, and the servers and polls and so on. And at least, this is the last one, uh, to, just to inform the political situation in France, uh, we have a congressman that has submitted a bill uh, to constrain the government and the French state to run systematically a public consultation for any draft bill beforehand it goes to the parliament. This is the proof of concept. Th this guy wants that our parliament and citizen concept uh, is, is coming officially on, on the board of the, of the nation. Uh, today is just a bill, it's just an idea, it's discussed, but the president of France, François Hollande, and the prime minister have publicly declared their interest and they have put it on the agenda until the end of the, of the year. And that's why I'm here, because this is my last slide. Yeah. Um, our ambition, our ambition as Democratie Ouverte, non-profit organization for the product, Parliament and Citizen, and for my own company, we would we, we have the ambition to explore new areas like unions or university, but but most of all, most of all we we want to go to Europe and, and the world. We we are we have in hand a, um, a product that is scalable. We can, you can produce it for any, anywhere, any areas, any, anywhere in the world. It works. You just have to be politically efficient. It's not just a tool. It's just not a hamster wheel. It's something that must go with a real um, a lobbying, you know, a power to go to the politi politicians and tell them to use it. And yeah, uh, this is my last word, if you want. Thank you. Thank you, Nicolas, very much. <laughs> it's uh, a really interesting case. Um, I have two short questions, but probably maybe if anyone from the audience would like to comment, have a question. 
about the case that Nicolas just presented. No more questions? No questions? Okay, what was interesting for me is um, you said that, 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 that there is no trolling in your consultation. Yeah. And um, is this because the, you have kind of um, rules of communicating that the, that the users sh should follow? Or is it just because when people come to the platform and see that it is something serious, they actually adapt their way of communicating to these cultural um, standards and they communicate in a way that it can bring concrete results? Basically, I think they, are, they come to the platform like you uh, come to your, your office every day uh, just for work. And uh, you, you want to work, you, you don't want to you know, throw things on your colleagues or... So um, this is the way I feel it. We don't have uh, put a survey on it, and uh, we don't know why this the moderation rate is so low. But uh, well, we were very surprised and, and obviously very happy to see that uh, people are really here for working and working hard, and people are really some of them are involved in, in numerous contributions, and there are really strong discussion about uh, every subject. And yeah. It's, uh, yeah, serious. People, people are serious. I mean, in another job, uh, I work for uh, the National uh, Committee for Public Debate in France, and we have led an experience on a, a very interesting topic, but very, very complicated topic. Is you know to put the nuclear waste under the soil. Uh, this is amazingly difficult to understand, and we have organized a conference with citizens, <coughs> and we have taught to them the, the, the problematic, to make them understand the problem. And after that, they have discussed several weekends and they have given a paper saying, okay, this is the recommendation of the citizens. This paper has been given to highly officials of nuclear power in France, very, very smart people with not with <coughs> amazing knowledge about the question. And the guy says, well, this is one of the best reports I've ever read on nuclear things in, in France ever. So people is is bloody smart. Yes, if they have opportunity, yeah. Uh, and yeah, and one sh short answer and sh um, short question for short answer. Um, I saw that you have many of your um, customers actually building a sus sustainable model of crowdsourcing. As I understand, you are outsourcing those organizations in using your tool so they can get opinions, content from the from the citizens. Yeah, and our, our model is to rent the platform mm -hmm. without nothing. Well, they rent Parliament the citizen, but with their logo and their colors and all they want. And uh, we just implement uh, the feature they need it more. Uh, so um, that's the model. Okay. Thank you.